Hi, my name's Cathy Millet, and this week we're adding lighting into the scale houses so we can shed a little bit of light on our interiors. We add lighting to our models to just be able to bring out those interior details. If you put in loads of effort onto the interior, you can't see it unless there's light shining inside. So this week we're looking at how do you light a simple plastic building and there's a number of ways. I would personally always use an LED because they last longer and they're easier. So I have LED here. This is from, um, I get them on eBay from LED Baron in Germany, but there's thousands of different sources. And this one is a three to 3.1 volt um, LED. It's a sunny white mix. I like sunny white and they're about this size. So they're easy enough to mount inside a small building like this. And the first thing we need to do is put on the tops and tails, the, the wires. So I've cut four pieces of magnet wire. Magnet wire is um, it's copper wire, so it's very bendy, but it's got a plastic coating on, so it won't short if it touches itself. So you need to scrape the ends to make sure that they're, um, that they're gonna make good electrical conductivity. So what I'm gonna do is just scrape them a bit with a, a knife. It doesn't need to be, it needs to be the last little end bit. And I'm gonna tin these ends and these. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna worry about which end is um, positive and which one is negative in a minute. But first, I'm gonna use a little bit of just flux. Now this is a normal plumber's flux and you have to rinse it off because it is quite acidic. I've had it for ages, but it does mean everything flows incredibly well. So just a little dab on the end of each of these. We'll get them tinned. And again on here. Now. There are four terminals on the back and one short end is positive and one short end is negative. There's actually a little corner nipped out of one end so it's easy enough to work it out. That'll be the cathode, the negative. So I have a, it's not exactly a small tip, um, but at least I can see it. Um, this is a soldering iron, Antex, very common. Um, brand in the UK, you can get them anywhere. Um, so a little bit of solder, there we go. Which involve not having to, there we go, make sure that they're all nicely tinned. You need to make sure these are tinned with that um, coating, you know, a bit of heat will pull it off as well. So now it's just a case of holding one along this side and applying the heat. Um, I've discovered all the smaller sizes come attached with magnet wire already and I just buy them now with it ready soldered. So I've got this, um, it's a um, diorama power pack that I use and it comes out at three volts, which is just happens to be what these are. And I just test to see by hooking these around these contacts, whether they're the um, right way around or not remains to be seen, but there we go. So I've got a light, so I know that, let me just do that so you can actually see it. Um, so I know that um, that's working. So all we need to do now is add these lights into our roofs. All I'm gonna do is mount them very simply with a splodge, dare I say, of white glue. Any glue will do. I'm using white because um, it's easy and available in the middle of these roofs and then leave it to set up. Very springy and it's deciding to move. I'm just gonna weigh it down. So I'm going to leave that to dry so that this is really set solid. And I just like to make sure that there's a little bit on the wires as well because they are prone to pull it off. So I've got both of my roofs with their wires on and actually <laughs> I whipped the other one off with white glue with my um, hair. Very impressive when I leant over to pick something off the floor. So I, I went back and used super glue afterwards and I probably would recommend using super glue on something like this and we're going to use it for the rest of this for speed. So I pre-drilled some holes. It's easier to do it from underneath than inside the building because it's easier to get the drill in. Okay, so I poke these wires through, one at a time, through this hole. And now I'm worried that someone might yank it from beneath and just pull it off. So to do that, I just put a rough little mark there and make sure that I put a little zigzag in. It's not gonna come out in a hurry. Um, to stop people doing that. So just a little bit above that, I just put a little bend and then another one there. And that puts a bit of slack in and enables me to, um, um, when people pull here, they're pulling down on this section with the 
floor here rather than pulling on a straight line. So if I just clip these together, oops, no, so that they're together, she says, um, and make sure that they're well and truly stuck together. Put it that side. So now I've got a conduit coming down, which I can scrunch up, and I need to make sure that um, that doesn't come off anything. So I'm just going to use um, super glue again oh, and run a section over here to glue it to the roof. Um, so I want all of my wires well glued so that they don't pull off. And then just run it along here to keep the two together um, for now. Here's the one I did earlier and you can see that it's just all um, um, shiny and you might well see it through the window if you're not careful. So to get over that, I'm just gonna roughly put some white paint on and I really must get a new um, business card out, but here's a business card, here's some Vallejo, it's not the thickest, but here's a Vallejo white paint and I'm just gonna splurge it around making sure not to cover the um, LED in any way. Um, that's my lights done. I'm gonna leave the paint to dry before I do anything else in case it does stick the roofs down. Now, because I put lights in, I'm gonna make sure my roofs are easy to remove. So I'm gonna use a little spot of glue and I'm probably gonna use white glue. So it's easy to break with just a little bit of a knife. You can add a bit of water if it's not giving way and it will be easy to pop off. Here we go, the final result, lighting. It makes all the difference, especially if you put an interior in. And I like the way the shadows fall and the lights spill out as well. So useful if you've got nighttime scenes. like mill scale Cathy's still having fun on her spacewalk. Girl Kathy's certainly having fun. I suspect the others are missing her though and wanting her to come home soon. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. If you did, then subscribe to me on YouTube. Alternatively, like me on Facebook, Kathy Millett Modelling, or on my website, kathymillett.co.uk. See you next week.